It's Force 13, Australia Oceania Channel for Sunday, the May the 5th, with a developing a tropical scene. A weak tropical low is embedded in a trough and lies near 6 South, 129 East, which is about 750 kilometres north northwest of Darwin, up there in the Northern Territory. There is a slight chance that the low starts drifting south early this week to be over the northern Timor Sea later in the week. It's very unlikely to move close to the Kimberley over the next seven days. And the Bureau of Meteorology has uh, percentages remaining very low for the next three days. Now we have a look at the latest NOAA floaters and it's invest at 90 3S and up there in the west pack we have invest 93W and within the last few hours a second area of interest has surfaced and sea surface uh, temperatures around 29.30 Celsius as mentioned in our previous update. Tropical cyclone formation probability guide is now showing up two additional areas, one in the West Pack and one in Solomon Island region. And in S93W, uh, correction, S, six decimal three degrees south, 129, 28 decimal nine degrees east. Now we have a look at some tracks and central pressure of 93S is around 1007 millibars. And as the Bureau of Meteorology has indicated via their uh, Saturday free day outlook, it's going to be another week. And in addition to the areas of interest, the A50 millibar vorticity clearly shows very high vorticity uh, subtropical low uh, close to the South Island of New Zealand upper level divergence is starting to develop so we, possibly we have uh, 93 S and a area of interest Eastern side of the Bakerville Island up there in the Solomon Island region. The 24 hour shear tendency the GFS accumulated precipitation model And again, it's the area in yellow through the dark brown. And just uh, keep an eye on the forward motion. And you can see the dark brown to the north, northwest, or even north of Vanuatu. And now a look at some models the GFS let's look at the 500 millibar vorticity and guess what are we going to have a tropical cyclone for the month of May, or actually two.
Uh, the icon is actually picking up on a low pressure system over there in the Solomon Island region. Now here's the Navy's NAFGEM, keep an eye on the two systems. Now we have a look at cyclone phase, various uh, models. This is the one for 93S. This is the a Canadian model. Information's on the right hand side of the screen for intensity and pressure. The top one I should say is sea surface temperature and intensity is the ones, the different colours below the sea surface temperature scale. UK Met. The Navy's NCEP. So when you look at the various models, there's consensus that something is likely to happen. Now we have a look at total precipitable water. Information is the right hand side of the screen and what we look at is the area in pink. And um, now we look at the local weather scene. And we start off with the wind probability model GFS. And this is from 10 a.m. through to 1300 hours Monday. And it's a public holiday here in Queensland. Monday and Labor Day. Now we have a look at the instability. And repeating uh, once again, it's not unusual to see a tropical cyclone in the month of May, even though we're outside the cyclone season. The Bureau's 12 hourly rainfall. And in addition to the AU channel, Force 13 has other channels. Uh, we operate uh, Facebook, Twitter, Discord. Bureau's total forecast of rain and have a look at how the picture changes. West Coast of Tasmania, the East Gippsland region. South Australia, Adelaide. Strong wind warning in place for the Sydney Close Waters, Byron, Goffs, Macquarie, Hunter, Sydney, Itawai, Batemans and Eden Coast for today. And a strong wind warning for the East Gippsland Coast down there in Victoria. Force 13 will continue to bring the latest information, really developing tropical scene. 
You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page. You're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 All in Text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also add force 13 on Skype and fool 13 at extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat. <laughs>